AMC 10A 2019 Problem 21. We're given a sphere with center O and with radius 6 and a triangle that cuts the sphere at a certain point with side lengths 15, 15, 24 and is situated so that sides are tangent to the sphere and what is the distance between O and the point in the plane rather determined by the triangle. So this is the 3D representation, the model that you should have drawn when you read this question. But when dealing with 3D geometry, never work in 3D because that's very difficult. Work in 2D, which is much simpler. And when deconstructing the 3D ge geometric problem, consider what 2D shape construct the 3D shapes that you're working with. Well, a sphere is essentially the layering of a bunch of 2D circles, which are concentric with different radii. And that's present and depicted within the left graph. And the real distance we're trying to solve for is OP or the distance of D, because that is the distance between O and the, and the plane of this triangle. And the distance, there is actually a formula for this, but we're not given the line equation. And we want to approach this the geometric way. So let's actually do this the geometric way first. So the geometric way will be very simple. The geometric formula is the Pythagorean theorem, because we have formed a right triangle, OAP. And if we find OA and PA, we'll be done with the question. And we're given conveniently OA. OA is nothing more but 6. So we just need to find PA, or the in radius of this sphere, in this shape. So now that we have this, we want to relate this radius r to the radi to the area of this triangle. And why is that? Because the area of the triangle is already given to me because they've given to me the three side lengths of the triangle. And the three side lengths of the triangle, the area will be equal to Heron's formula, which is root to the semi-perimeter times s minus a, s minus b, and s minus c, where a, b, c are side lengths of the triangle. And what is the semi-perimeter? The semi-perimeter is 15 plus 15 plus 24 over 2. 15 plus 15 is 30, plus 24 is 54, divided by 2 is 27. So we know what s is. s is 27 times s minus a, let's let a be 15. So this is times 12, times s minus a again, 12, times s minus c, which is 3. So this is the same thing as root 3 cubed times 3, 3 cubed being 27, times the square root of 12 squared. 12 squared is 12, taking the square root of it, times 3 fourths square root will be 3 squared, which is 9, which is 12 times 9, which is 108. So the area of the triangle of this triangle is 108. And now with this, we can relate the area of the circle to the area of the triangle by breaking this shape into areas that relate to the, to the circle. So when you're, whenever you're trying to relate another shape to another shape via area, divide it into smaller shapes. This should come as no surprise to you. So we can break it up into these three conveniently numbered triangles. And why do I want to break it up into these triangles? Because I'm given the height, which is r, the value that I'm trying to relate it to, and the base of each triangle, because it's the side lengths of the triangle it's given to us. So we have to sum up each of the areas, and that must be equal to the grand total area of the triangle, which is 108. So we can solve for r, which is very good. And now to solve for r, what is the area of these two triangles? with base 15 and height r. Well, that would be 2 times 15r over 2 plus the base triangle right here, which is base of 24 times the radius of r divided by 2, which is the same thing as 15r plus 12r, which is the same thing as 27r. Now, this 27r is the sum of all these three triangles, which sum to the area of the grand triangle, which is 108. So we can solve r by doing some division, which is 108 over 27. This can be divided by 3, which becomes 9, this becomes 3 and 6, so this is equal to 4. So the radius, this in radius, is equal to 4. And since we have this, we have solved the question, because we have solved the two side lengths necessary for this right triangle to compose D. This is 6, this is 4. What is D? D is equal to the square root of 36 squared, which is, or 6 squared, 36, minus 4 squared, which is 16. Equal to the root 20, root 20 is root 4 times root 5, which is 2 root 5, bringing us to answer choice D, and we're done.